What's up and welcome back to our League of Legends Top 5 Play Show for a very fantastic Week 209. This episode starts off with some incredible outplays and then rolls into our bonus clip and HyperX giveaway towards the end, so be sure to not click that browser and let's begin. At our number 5 play, we have Necro193 on Lissandra with an excellent tower defense while down in gold and teammates. At the start, we see Red Team sieging down mid, looking to scoop up the tower plus in hit, but Lissandra sees they're pushing with a small creep wave. She wastes no time and heads in, using her W to lock them up into an ult on herself as the creeps go down. Between Yi and the tower, Red Team falls quickly, giving the quadra to Lissandra as she chases down Sona for the penta. The enemy Red Team assume that if for some reason their creep wave died, they could easily get out or rush the tower down, but they didn't expect such a confident all-in from Lissandra that also took out their creep wave faster than expected, leaving them CC'd and at the mercy of Yi and the tower. Moving into our number 4 play, we have Meta War on Zeb with a monstrous 1v1 out play in the mid lane. He moves in on Orianna and reads her, flash ulting her QW into a shadow swap to dodge her ult, triple shurikens ignite, and a final swap to get away from the creeps as he fade away ease for the kill. Let's take another look at that beautiful play and how every little thing added up to get him the kill with only a sliver of health left. Landing in at third place is Iron Jinx with an excellent team fight on Yasuo. At the start we see blue team is down just a bit over 10,000 gold and with their bot and hip destroyed the enemy have grouped up to make something happen. Irelia looks for a jump on Corky but Maokai's got his back and now they're forced into this fight so we turn our focus to Yasuo in the back lines. Corky's getting dived hard so he DPSs down the tanks ulting Irelia for the kill but Sivir's in his face so he turns with an amazing wind wall, switching sides when they switch followed by a huge triple knockup and EQ for the kill. Blitz flashes away so he goes for Vi using the knockup CC to take her down before dashing in towards the robot. A nice little sidestep guarantees the quad and seals the deal on this fight that looked like it was headed downhill from the start. Our number 2 play from Cannon Stack on Janna comes from a super high elo game and displays some insane teamwork especially for solo queue. After a great team fight, blue team is looking to end the game and despite a great all in from Fizz to get Callista, Rek'Sai also goes down. The enemy Warwick spawns and Fizz has no E so Katarina ults but it quickly gets stopped by a tornado as Fizz gets surrounded. He immediately E's into a flash to gain some distance but Katarina sticks on him so he turns with his Q allowing Janna to shield him right before the Warwick ult goes off. Monsoon pushes him back and then she follows it up with an exhaust into a perfectly timed double knockup so Fizz can use the CC to auto cat and Q Warwick. Janna shield saves Fizz yet again as she chain slows Warwick with Zephyr and Frost Queen so he decides to hunt her down instead. After a mini chase, Fizz has returned to help Janna and right as Warwick goes for him we see another trickster plus tornado combo that finishes off the wick within the knockup CC. Conquering the fields of justice at her first place spot is Paolo with some impressive kiting and fighting on Azir. The enemy Renekton dives in with his double dash forcing Azir to flash away so Renekton pulls back and gets on Thresh but the friendly Hecarim is flanking. The fight erupts as Dominus gets popped but Azir keeps his safe range away knowing Renekton's E is still on cooldown as they DPS him down first. Caitlyn gets bloodthirsty for the horse allowing the shielded up Azir to finish her off with soldiers for the double. Out of nowhere Azir pulls off a sick EQ throwing Thresh into the wall with his ultimate which allows him to take him down with some follow up CC and damage. A new challenger approaches from the mid lane flashing the smites on Azir but he knocks up Pantheon mid E into a hook from Thresh to completely lock him down and let Azir shred his HP. Yasuo rushes in but he positions the soldiers and pops Zhonya's and at this point things are looking bad but a great E grants another shield as Yasuo gets exhausted on his ult allowing Azir to survive and get the unofficial Penta. Ace. And for the bonus clip of the week, I decided to change things up a bit and include two different Lux plays, both of which are insanely lucky. Just so you're not confused, I show each play twice and you can tell it's the next play when it shows their name at the bottom left. While you're checking both of these plays out, now's a great time to go over the HyperX giveaway for one of their cloud headsets. We run our giveaways on a website called Rafflecopter and I'll put a link to it right down below in the description box. Essentially all you have to do is click on that link and follow the super easy instructions there to enter the giveaway. I promise it only takes a minute to sign up and once you do it the first time you'll be able to enter our future giveaways even faster so it's definitely worth your time. If giveaways are too random for your liking then I'll also put a direct link to Amazon where you can get the headset for nearly 50% off. The last thing I wanted to say is that within the next week or so we'll be putting out a huge 1 million subscriber video so get hyped because it's coming out sooner than you expect. Thanks everyone so much for watching, don't forget to check out that HyperX giveaway in the description box and of course have a wonderful weekend.